today's video is about... Anyway. Can you keep the noise down a bit, lads? Thank you. Let's go to the kitchen. Here is an invention that has reduced household chores for millions of people around the world. According to the International Enamelers Association, whoever they are, um, in 2016, 24 and a half million dishwashers were sold around the world. Some might lament the rise of the dishwasher. Some believe it is a danger to the environment. However, most studies agree that in terms of energy use and water consumption, even if you take into account the environmental impact of building and disposing of the dishwashers, they are far more environmentally friendly than hand washing. And so consequently, a boon to the environment, as well as making life just a little bit easier. So why and how was the dishwasher invented in an age of cheap human labor? Well, the main driving force was a feisty woman from Ohio, USA, who wouldn't let anyone tell her what to do or not to do and wouldn't let anything get in her way. But let's start at the beginning, more than 30 years before this amazing lady invented the dishwasher as we know it today. Joel Houghton was born in Wyndham County, Vermont, in the United States in 1793. And in 1850, he patented a dishwashing device that you can see here. It was a wooden box where you put the dishes, a hand crank sprayed water over them and powered rotating scrubbers, which were kind of brushes, and they scrubbed the dishes. People were amazed and flocked to see it, but that's the point. They flocked to see it, but they didn't buy it. It was ineffective, and in the age of domestic servants, it was much cheaper to employ a kitchen maid who would do a far better job. And that's how things remained. There was little point in a device that cost more and did a worse job than human labour. <laughs> there are so many parallels in our own times and more are coming. Let's fast forward to the 1880s. Josephine Cochrane, near Garris, was married to William Cochrane, a wealthy dry goods merchant and a Democratic Party politician. As such, she had to entertain a lot. Her problem was that she had a passion for antique, valuable and delicate porcelain. After parties and dinners, all of these dishes had to be washed and there were always breakages and chipped dishes as a result. She repeatedly told the servants to be more careful and in desperation tried doing the washing up herself. It took ages and even she caused more damage. It wasn't so easy. Something had to be done. She once said to her husband, how come no one's invented a machine to wash dishes? He doubted that anyone would buy such a things. Servants were cheap enough. She wasn't convinced. In 1883, she started work on designing a hand-cranked dishwashing machine. It became an obsession. Later that same year, her husband, William, died suddenly of a heart attack, leaving her with very little money, less than $2,000, and a lot of debt. She suddenly needed a lot of money and her dishwashing machine idea looked like a way out. In 1885, her design was ready, but she didn't know how to build a prototype. Women's education didn't give them skills like this. She needed a mechanical engineer, but she couldn't afford one. She found a local railroad mechanic, George Butters, and he was willing to help, but it wouldn't be easy. Also, remember, this was the 1880s, a single young man spending a lot of time at a widow's house would definitely cause gossip and could ruin their reputations. So they had to work in secret. They weren't lovers, but they had to behave as if they were. <laughs> no comment. The difference between this machine and Horton's was there were no scrubbers or brushes. The scrubbers damage China. Imagine putting your dishes and glasses into an automatic car wash and you get the idea. Water under pressure was sprayed on the dishes when the crank was turned. This cleaned effectively without damaging the dishes and is essentially the system used today. 
Don't forget, she was working on this in an era when, as they say, a woman's place is in the home, certainly not inventing machines. In 1886, she had a working model and it was patented. However, there were other obstacles. First was the cost. The retail price worked out at about $100 per dishwasher. That's more than $3,000 in today's money. About four times the annual salary of a kitchen maid who could also do lots of other things. So she needed another plan. She thought about hotels and large restaurants. They needed to wash piles of dishes. She was having moderate success when in 1893 an enormous event took place, the Chicago World's Fair. This was an exhibition where countries, companies and investors could show off their products. These massive events attracted millions of people and the biggest investors. These fairs had started with the Great Exhibition in London in 1851 and then spread around the world. For an industrial kitchen, Josephine's invention was a game changer. It saved so much time, and time is money, as they say. It could wash 250 dishes in just a few minutes. Hotel and large restaurant owners queued up to buy her machine. She needed to set up a manufacturing plant, and many investors wanted her to sell her patent to a man as a condition of the investment. Such were the attitudes of the time. She refused and eventually found enough investors. Good for her. Later, other companies made improvements. By the 1920s, most dishwashers were electrically powered and plumbed into mains of water. By the 1940s, they also dried the dishes. And by the 1970s, dishwashers had already been installed into lots of private houses. Despite all the changes, the basic system of Jets of high pressure water doing the cleaning has remained the same. All invented by a politician's wife and a socialite who turned out to be very resourceful, creative and determined. Dishwashers may seem a trivial invention compared to vaccines or antibiotics, but they've made life just a little bit better for millions of people. And I think that's a good thing. Um, Josephine Cochrane invented this machine despite all of the obstacles placed in front of her by the society of that time, and she also made money out of it. Good for her. If you enjoyed this episode, please click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Bye for now.